Hello everyone, today we will discuss about how we can download any template to import data in D365 or Dynamics CRM and also discuss how we can import data using CSV file. So as you can see here on the left hand side map, we are having a different entity name as account entity, contact entity and one more custom entity name as product details. So when I click on account entity, you will see the records of account and to download any template first of all i have to click on command bar here you have to select excel template inside excel template click on download template when you click on download template you will see a small window will pop up here and inside here you have to mainly focus on two things entity and second one is view from the entity you can select any entity and inside view you can select the view from the particular entity right now i am working for account entity so i have selected my active accounts after this click on download button you will see a template will download in the format of excel try to open the template this is the template that i have downloaded for account entity and the best practice to use this template is to remove all the record because when you try to import this excel file it will give you error of duplication for the same records so you can see how we can download this template to import data in d365 now let us learn how we can import data using csv file close this all to import data using csv file first of all i have to click on contact entity inside contact entity you will see now we having a eight records for the contact and to import data using csv file first of all i have to click on import for excel inside here you have to select import from csv make please make sure that when you select import from csv your file should be in the format of dot csv and when you select import from excel it should be in the format of dot excel so right now i am trying to use dot csv file format for that i will show you the file that i have used to import our data using csv file format this is the file that i have used to import our data using csv file right now right now this is in the format of excel but i have converted this file into the csv file format so close this and choose file inside here please select the file click on open click on next it will ask you about duplicate data setting if in the form of yes or no other than this click on review mapping when you come here you have to mainly focus on few things like primary field optional field inside primary field here it will show you all the required column for the table and optional field these are the optional column heading in your source file and this red exclamation mark defined that it is a kind of node mapped field and the another thing is when you click on node map it will give you an option of ignore when you select the ignore it means or the main significance to choose the ignore is we do not want to import data into our application so click on finish import so it will give you a some kind of error the wizard detect one or more unmapped field do you want to ignore the unmapped field and continue I click on cancel when you hover this do not modify contact inside here uh, it means we can select ignore because we do not want to import data into our application and from the map attribute you can see uh, show mapped and show unmapped so click on show unmapped you can see full name is node mapped it is quite obvious because it is a kind of a concatenation field from here you can ignore it 
and do for the same also do not modify row checksum because we do not want to import data into our application click on finish import click on done when you click on done you can see how we can track our progress for the file that we have imported into our system click on setting go to advanced setting inside advanced setting click on this drop down menu button select data management inside data management click on imports inside import this is the file that we are trying to import our data and this is the format of .csv file and here you can see status reason of our file success failure and error total processed so this inside the status reason there are the different different stages from our file will be go through like uh, when i refresh this it will go to the parsing status means status is changing from submitted to parsing it means and if i again refresh this now it will transfer our data and uh, when you try to open this file inside this file you can see many things related to our imported file like failure success rate partial failure so close this you can see all these things from here also please refresh it once again it is now importing usually it will take 2 to 3 minutes to import our data successfully but it depend on the amount of your data are trying to importing once again i click on refresh so you can see here success is 4 and error we get is 8 total process is 12 so let me refresh my page inside our system so you can see here last time we having a 8 context now it's a 12 and uh, inside this uh, import data we, um, so when you click on this file you can see all the status of about our file inside failure success they, uh, so these are the records that are successfully imported through our csv file close this so you can see here our data is successfully imported thank you